7 o'clock, we got Bryant, which went 7 and 4 last year, traveling to FIU, which went 1 and 11 on ESPN3. Gunnar Holmberg is the new quarterback. He had 217, he went 217 and 324 last year, threw for 2,358 yards, had seven touchdowns to eight interceptions, and a 67% completion percentage. That name sounds familiar. Gunnar Holmberg. He was the former quarterback of Duke last year, pretty sure. Um, so, brand new team here, Tremsland, Florida International. Florida International, as much as I love them as a Florida team, they're bad. Uh, they've been really bad since Morgan left. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about them. Brian has a legitimate chance here of upsetting them. They do. Uh, Florida International's favored, but not by a lot. It's still a one-score game, which is pathetic if you're Florida International. You should probably be favored by a lot more than that against Bryant. But, you know, <laughs> it's Bryant. It's a powerhouse. Uh, Lexington Joseph is their leading running back this year. He had 57 carries for 273 yards last year on a touchdown. And uh, Tyrese Chambers had 45 catches for 1,074 yards and nine touchdowns in the receiving aspect of the game. Uh, this one's a tough one. Honestly, I don't have a lot of faith in the Panthers. I don't think they're a good football team. Gunnar Holmberg obviously started at the Power 5 level. Obviously not with a good school in Duke. Um, but, you know, he's solid enough to conceivably. But Florida International is a bad team all around. I'm going to go upset here. I think the Bryant Bulldogs have a legitimate chance of pulling off this upset and taking down the Panthers. 